guess what? Millennials pay the highest banking fees and penalties of any age group on their checking accounts. So you know what that means? That means the banks love you. They just want you to sign on up today. Can't wait to get another millennial. That sucks. You should be ashamed. Be better. I was a late bloomer. I, I didn't get my account till I was 18. But, you know, obviously going to Stanford, there are people that were far, far, far more advanced and ahead of me in that field. They, they had bank accounts, they've written checks, they had debit cards, they had their parents' debit cards. They understood exactly how it worked. I had never seen a debit card in my life until I got one. When you have your first bank account, understand that they will let you take out more money than you actually have to take out. I learned what overdraft fees were really quickly. Really, really quickly. But once again, it's taboo to talk about money, so I never talked about it, especially because I didn't have very much and everybody else had quite a bit. So it's just like, hey, yeah, I'm fitting in, guys. I, I got a card too. Yours is, yours seem to be black. I don't know what that means, but mine, mine seems to be regular. But if I could go back and tell my 18-year-old self anything, I'd tell him to start a savings account. Put money there. Let it sit. Let it gain interest. Understand that savings, savings is more important than checking. That's your rainy day fund. That's the money you put away. That's the money that, that's really important. If you make 100 bucks, throw 60 in the savings. 40, hey, you got it in your checking, spin it. But just know you put 60 away. And if you do that with every 100 bucks you got, you'll be in a pretty good spot. Just don't touch that savings. Don't touch it. Do not touch it. Get your money right. Keep it tight. This is how you manage your bank account. Step one, if you're setting up an account, you need to know what type of account suits you. Checking going to give you easy access to your funds. Savings account may earn you more interest over time. You need to choose one. Look, now is anyone going to have access to this account? Step two now is bank choosing time. Now listen, every bank has different offers, especially for your first account. Heck, there may even be a special program for students or members of the military. Oh yeah, also make sure you research how many bank branches and ATMs are near where you live. Oh, and uh, make sure you like their mobile app. I know how important that is to young people. Step three, now it's time to apply. Listen, these days most banks are gonna allow you to open an account online or in person. Look, you're gonna need your ID, an address, and between $25 to $100 for your first deposit. Listen now, once you got your ducks in a row, bank's gonna set you up. Give you checks, a debit card, hopefully online account to help you manage your cash. Congratulations, you're growing. Do you wanna go through life mediocre? No, you don't want your finances mediocre either. So let's get your bank account together today. Look at you. You're adulting now. Adult.